want to do when you left school? Um, work with languages, because I've been in love with languages since the first day that I joined in year seven, but definitely not teach. Where did you see yourself in ten years' time? When I left school, I saw myself working for someone like the UN or something doing translation work. Who was your childhood hero? Mostly been independent women. So, as a child, playing was always Calamity Jane. Um, influenced by films, always admired Gladys Aylwood, who was a missionary in China. Uh, and I guess growing up, people like Emmeline Pankhurst, who fought for women's rights. I haven't taught many of the current Year 11 in Key Stage 4. Um, very, very small number of them. I do know many of them from lower down the school or from contact. I wish you all the very, very best. Follow your dreams and I wish you lots of success in the future. When you left school, what did you want to do? Well, it's difficult for me when I was at school because we didn't really have careers. Well, we did have one careers interview and it was like in a cupboard, like a broom cupboard. It literally was a broom cupboard, there were brooms in it. And uh, I did a little survey and they decided I should be either a priest or a social worker. Um, so I decided against that and decided I wanted to play rugby. That's what I really wanted to do, was to play rugby. And I thought it was quite good. Um, when I went to university I found out I wasn't. I was really rubbish. Um, and so I had to think of something else to do. And I thought, what could I do that would be useful? And I suppose it's quite useful working with young people. Where did you see yourself in 10 years' time? Well, that's a problem, really, see. I went to college so I could play rugby, and then I decided I'd better do teaching, and then I got a job, and then I didn't really think about 10 years' time. Um, I would have been a bit silly to think about being ahead in 10 years' time. So um, I just thought, see what happens, take it as it comes. Who was your childhood hero? Uh, in both of them was my childhood hero. Cricket's my favourite game. Again, unfortunately I'm rubbish at it. But um, if I was good, I'd love to play cricket. Uh, Ian Botham was just somebody who I admired. I don't think my parents liked the fact that I had Ian Botham as my hero. Uh, so Ian Botham was obviously famous for smoking certain substances and not really applying himself particularly well to anything. Leave us message. Right, yes, I'll take that out because that's really bad. It makes it look like I hadn't thought about it. Uh, year 11. Wow, yes. Year 11. What can I say? Bye. No, uh, more than that. Um, you're the group, I think you're the first group, I'm sure you're the group that I've been here with. I started when you started and I hope I'm not finishing when you're finishing because obviously I'd like to carry on working here. I guess it depends on the exam results. Maybe it will be my last year. Um, Thank you for some amazing memories, Year 11. Um, one of the nicest year groups I've ever known, most laid back. Didn't really work, of course, that's unfortunate. But as people, you're very, very nice. So um, I hope you all get to do whatever it is you want to do. What did you want to do when you left school? I knew I was going to go on to university, but after that I didn't know what I wanted to do. But I've been involved in all sorts of drama things, and so therefore, I thought I might go into the theatre and be an actor, but I was no way good enough. Where did you see yourself in ten years' time? Where do I see myself now in ten years' time, or where did I see myself when I was 16, and what, I would, what I'd be doing when I was 26? When you left school? Don't know. Didn't have an idea. I was going to wait and see what university gave me. It's quite nice, actually. <laughs> Who was your childhood hero? I didn't have any hero heroes as a child. I didn't have any older brothers to look up to, so I was having to kind of make it up for myself as I went along. And I didn't really have any childhood heroes. I liked sport, but I was no good at it. And I liked going to theatre, but there were actors who I thought I couldn't really copy. So I didn't really have a childhood hero. And I suppose the first thing, the message I would give to the Year 11 is that you've got to be your own hero. If you can't be proud of yourself, who can you be proud of? When you left school, what did you want to do? I've told this story to most of the careers classes that I didn't actually know what I wanted to do and just filled in forms so I could stay on at college and uh, 
then went to university and slowly found myself evolving into this thing called teaching. But it was never planned, it was by accident more than anything else. When you left school, where did you see yourself in 10 years time? I was quite happy that when I'd done my training to just carry on being a teacher that got forced by my family, not forced, encouraged by my family to try and get promotion. And I uh, was quite surprised that within 10 years I was head of department and have been very happy with that uh, position ever since. Who was your childhood hero? When I was uh, younger, I was madly keen about uh, sailing, so it was anybody to do with sailing. And in the 1968 Olympics, maybe it was, there was somebody called Robin Patterson, who was the Olympic gold medalist, so he was, I suppose, the childhood hero. And I suppose the final thing I need to say is to all those guys who spent five years here at Cookhorn is all the best for the future, and I wish you all the best. Uh, I wanted to be a doctor, a medical doctor. Where did you see yourself in any time? Um, I thought, well, when I left school, when I thought being a doctor, I wanted to be a forensic pathologist, so kind of open dead bodies. So it would probably taken me ten years to get to that point. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, from early age, probably my dad. He went through quite a lot of uh, health issues, and he always bounced back. So. Uh, that's a bit like me, really, so always bouncing back from uh, issues. So, yeah, put in my dad. Leave his message. I'd just like to say I'll miss the whole class I taught, the spectacular 11A4. I'll miss them. I'll miss them immensely. There are many characters in there that I will truly never forget. Uh, even when I probably retire when I'm 50, I'll still think about that, that class at Crookhorn. Uh, but seriously, uh, congratulations, uh, you finished, good luck for the future, I wish you all the best.